in the background real life hello good morning today is why do I always start these things and not know what the day is Tuesday the 2nd um, February 2nd it is 9 30 and I thought I would walk you guys walk you guys show you guys what our homeschool routine looks like today great job so Perfect, thank you so much. You are an awesome helper. Hey mom. You wanna tell the top vlog good morning? Good morning. She's silly. So I thought I would, can I? Okay, let me finish speaking please. So, <coughs> so I thought I would take you guys along our homeschool day, um, really um, our homeschool morning, I guess. We pretty much get it all done in the morning. My house is a wreck. Uh, Ryan and I have not felt great the last several days uh, and he's still in bed because he was also up all night with the baby and he was very loving and let me sleep because he's a wonderful, wonderful man. So I haven't cleaned up from breakfast completely. The kids helped me clean up the playroom. They, they played in there while I was uh, doing my Bible study. Um, but now we are cleaned up and we are ready to do some school. I have not started our actual curriculum yet. We're just kind of doing whatever it is that we want to do. Um, but I'll show you guys what we do as we go along. Hi! <laughs> Ooh, I can't find you. Say hi! Good morning. Hi. Yeah. All right, sister, you want to come check your mail? Mm. All right, Willie, you get to work. You want to come check your bag? What is that? What does it say? It says, when you... Oh, your bag is right here. What's in here? When you help take care of Nora Mae and Lincoln. Okay, so 
So since it is February, in honor of Valentine's Day, we decorated our Valentine's bag. Mommy has one. We can focus. So I have one. Daddy has one. He just has to decorate it still. Will decorated his. And but I cut you're interrupting. Half. You're interrupting me. Uh, and Norma has hers. And then every morning, I'm putting a heart in each one of their bags. And it has little things that I love that we do together or let, that I love about them. So, I have all of that. And I want to go. <laughs> yes, he does. Every morning we come in here and we open our mail and see what we have. Um, and now, do you want to do your calendar or do you want to do devotional first? Um, my calendar first. Okay. just finished doing our devotional I really really like uh, this D is for dinosaur it goes through um, Genesis Noah's Ark and all of that um, it also talks about creation um, and like on what days things were created and all of that we're starting to get into the flood we're talking about leading up to the flood why God flooded the earth now we're gonna come into my Handy dandy binder that I've recently set up and come over to Tuesday. We're gonna work on some tracing. Ooh, so we'll start with that. All right, up to the table. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin. You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of everything, yet it doesn't feel like it should. You make me feel kind of wrong. Should you have? Six! You did it! Yay! I like it. Now I like these. Yeah. Alright, so now we are doing these little 
tin frames. They're hot chocolate tin frames. I got them off of totschooling.net. Uh, and we actually do have marshmallows this time. We do not always. Sometimes he uses cereal um, or um, chocolate chips, beads, whatever you want to use as your manipulative. Uh, we don't have a ton of marshmallows left right now. So usually once he puts them on, he can eat them. Um, but we have some cereal that we can eat instead. Yeah. And we have All right. two left. So we don't want to know. Yep. But we have these. All right. Ten. Ten. All right. No, leave the table. We've got lots of help from this one. One. And we got one. the tiny nugget joining us for school, too. Put them back. I wanted to talk to you about it. Okay, so it's 10:20. I don't remember what time I told you guys we started, but we are finished with school. That's it. That's all we do. Um, we'll read throughout the day. We have um, here. I'll show you guys what we have. Uh, we have this book that we'll read at some point. These are really cool. I'm actually borrowing this from my sister, but it's from S. Bourne, their very first reading book. And these are fun because, I can't open them, the adult reads this side, and then it has just little, um, like, little sight words and CVC words that they read. So your kid would read the bolded words super simple. It's very repetitive so that they can kind of get the hang of things. Be gentle, gentle, gentle. So, there's these. Sister, be gentle. What's she doing, honey? Okay. And then we also have this that we're doing. We usually have like a chapter book that we do at night, but we finished our chapter book and I need to get another one. Uh, so we've been reading these. These are fun. Um, I need to go rescue my baby, hold on. Okay, so this has like Robin Hood, Gulliver's Travel, Moonfleet, Around the World in 80 Days, Robinson Crusoe, The Canterville Ghost, uh, and they're fairly short chapters. Oh boy. And I'm going to go take care of that. Okay, so that is a look at a very typical homeschool day with us with, let's see, a preschooler, an almost two-year-old, and a newborn. It's a little chaotic and a little chaotic. Um, it's very chaotic. There's a lot of stopping and starting. It's a lot of managing little people and lots of feelings. Um, but we get through it. And for the most part, we enjoy it. At least, hopefully they do. So... That's how that goes. Nora Mae played in our, what they call Bonnie Castle uh, for the majority of the time and then she joined us for a little while. Uh, and then Lincoln ate through most of it. Uh, now I'm going to clean up the kitchen while they destroy the playroom again. Uh, and then I'm gonna talk to you guys, after I finish that, I'll come back and talk to you guys about um, what we're planning to do for our preschool. Okay, quick, everybody's outside, so let me show you this. The playroom 
Remember how we cleaned that up? Yeah, it's mess again. All right, so here's what I'm using. Okay, so we are going for our spine, we are going to use the Gentle Classical Preschool Level 2. Um, I'll link down below the website for this. It's only $50 for the digital rights, and you can print it yourself. For phonics, we're doing Explode the Code. Um, we're starting with level A, get ready for the code. And then for math, I have ordered the Good and the Beautiful level K. So they are redoing their level K, or well, all of their cur uh, curriculum, math curriculum. But I went ahead and bought it while it was on sale so we can give it a try, because I don't want to wait until August, I'm impatient. So I went ahead and bought the current uh, curriculum that they have uh, on sale for like 55 bucks for uh, both books and the activity box. So I got those, they're on the way, that's why we're not doing any formal math or phonics yet. I'm waiting for the math to get in. Um, but I'll show you kind of what I'm doing in the meantime. We also have not started uh, the general classical preschool because I have to get all the books for that. And that's gonna be a process because money. So I have our Ten Commandments. We are memorizing those at church, so we're going over them. Whoops, that has a hole in it. <laughs> we're going over them at home. We're up to number three right now. We introduce one a week and we just go over them a couple times a day. I guess I need a new pocket folder because this one's a little too holy. I don't know what happened there. These are all my notes for the um, curriculum. So I have my binder here and I have them divided up by day. So I have glare. Monday. Glare. Tuesday. Wednesday. Here's Thursday. And then over here is Friday. And all I do is I have all my, I have all of my um, school games in binders for language arts, language arts, math, science, something, language arts, math, science, something, and miscellaneous. I don't remember. Um, but I have them all divided up in different binders and I have the school games in those little um, sheet protectors, pocket folder things. Um, and that way, when I go to put together our lessons, I can just, uh, I just pull out the sheet protector and put it in this binder and then it's ready. I get all of this ready, usually Sunday, and put it all in the binder so it's ready to go for the week. Um, and then I just have to grab it and do it that morning. And then at the end of the week, anything that's reusable, so like this, these are laminated just CVC cards. These I will just pop back in the big binder the language arts binder, things that are not reusable. So like this, he's gonna glue the numbers on there. I could make it reusable, but I'm not going to because he likes to glue. Um, but these, I'll just throw the actual page away and then the sheet protector will go with all the other sheet protectors that I have left over. But that's what I have set up for this. Just kind of flip through these. I got along with the Ten Commandment cards. They're three part cards for the Ten Commandments. Uh, and they're really cool. She has a bunch of different um, Bible related printables. I'll try to link those below um, if I can find it again. Tracing things. This is laminated, so we'll use a dry, like a wet erase marker. I don't like dry erase markers. Um, so we'll use a wet erase marker have some like Christmas slash winter stuff that I'm using because why not 
And then you get to the back of this binder, and this is for our Gentle Classical curriculum. So that's all the curriculum stuff. And I have that divided into terms. There are three terms. Um, so I have it sectioned off term one, term two, term three. Although we will be homeschooling year round, so I'm not sure that the terms mean anything for us. But they're there, and I can know if I want. Um, and one unit lasts one week, ideally. Um, but of course, homeschool, you can do it how you want. So that's my binder. That's how I organize our lessons. That's the um, curriculum that we're starting out with. I am sure that it will change. Um, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to go finish cleaning up and that's it. I think that's it for this vlog. <laughs> it's a really short vlog. Usually my vlogs are very long. Um, but that is our homeschool day. That's a glimpse into our curriculum and what we'll be using for our first year of anything legit. I've done homeschool games with him for a couple of years now, but it's been very sporadic. Um, and just like the, the little games that you saw today, I've never used a curriculum. I've made my own. Uh, so this will be our first like real curriculum homeschool. So I hope you guys enjoyed following along a homeschool routine with a preschooler and two very little kids. Um, it's been fun. If you have any co uh, comments, questions, concerns, whatever, drop them down below. Let me know. Let me know if you're also doing preschool with your kiddo uh, and what you're excited about doing. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.